Welcome to ECLEMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed a micrometer screw gauge, how to make readings, and even the accuracy of a micrometer screw gauge. We also discussed zero errors in Avania calipers, where we said if you have a positive zero error, then you will subtract it from the reading of the instrument which has a fault. Then if you have a negative zero error, you will add it to the total reading. So in this lesson, we are going to discuss a zero errors in a micrometer screw gauge. And what we are going to realize, just like in Avania calipers, whenever we have a positive zero error, then we will subtract it from the total reading of the instrument. And if we have a negative zero error, we are going to add it to the total reading of the instrument. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define a micrometer screw gauge zero error and then define what a positive zero error is, be able to identify a positive zero error and then correct the zero, the positive zero error. And then finally, describe a negative zero error, be able to identify a negative zero error in a micrometer screw gauge and also correct this negative zero error. So a zero error on a micrometer screw gauge occurs when a zero mark of the thimble scale does not coincide with the horizontal line of the sleeve scale. This is the zero mark of the thimble scale. It should coincide with, this, with the horizontal line on the sleeve scale. And if this does not happen, then we will say, this instrument has a zero error. So when it has a zero error, you find this zero mark on the thimble scale is either down here or it's above the horizontal line on the sleeve scale. So in this case, it can result into two types of errors. The first error is a positive zero error. Then the second one is a negative zero error, which we are going to discuss shortly. So the first error that we are going to discuss is a positive zero error of a micrometer screw gauge. And this error occurs when the zero mark of the thimble scale is below the horizontal line when there is no object placed between the anvil and the spindle. So in this case, assuming this horizontal line which has a sleeve scale is zero, but the thimble scale is already making two divisions. So these two divisions on the thimble scale, if we multiply with the accuracy of this thimble scale, the slip scale is the thimble scale is already reading 0 0.02 millimeter. So that's why we call it positive zero error because the instrument is already making some measurements even when there's no object in between the anvil and the spindle. So in this case, if you bring an object whose dimension you know, object you know its dimension, let's say if the dimension is 5.00 millimeter, and you place it inside the spindle and the anvil and you measure the dimension, it will, the, this instrument or this uh, micrometer screw gauge with this error will read the reading or the measurement of this object, which is 5.00 millimeter plus the dimension which already this instrument was reading, that is 0 0.02. So this instrument will read 5.02 millimeter. So now, if this instrument which has measured the dimension which you knew as 5.00, now it's reading 5.02 millimeter. So if you use it without knowing that, without knowing the correct dimension of the object, then you will read the full reading of the instrument. And then for you to get the correct, now for you to go from here to the correct reading of the, or the correct dimension of that object, then you subtract the error. So whenever you have a positive error and you have read the instrument as 5.02, then in this case, for you to get the correct, if you know the error, you will just subtract the error from the total reading of the instrument then in this case, for you to get the correct one, you will get 5.02, what the instrument is reading. 
to subtract the error which you already know 0 0.02 when then you are going to get 5.00 millimeter so in short for you to correct a positive zero error you subtract the error from the reading of the micrometer screw gauge so if you have a positive zero error this is an error then to correct it correct it you subtract from the reading of that instrument so the second error that we're going to discuss is a negative zero error of a micrometer screw gauge and this error occurs when the zero mark of the simple scale is above the horizontal line of the sleeve scale so whenever there is no object being measured using a micrometer screw gauge and you find that the zero mark of the sleeve scale is above the horizontal line then in that case that is a negative error like in this case the negative error is assuming this sleeve scale is zero then already this one has one two three three subdivisions behind so in this case it's three divisions times 0 0.01 which is the accuracy so it has an error of negative 0 0.03 millimeter so if you use this instrument or this uh, micrometer screw gauge to measure the dimension of an object which you know so if you have an object whose dimension you know let's say 5.00 millimeter if you use this instrument with a negative error it will give you a value which is less than the dimension that you knew so in this case it will give you 4.9 seven millimeter this is what the instrument reading this is what the instrument will read but is it true that this one is like this no it's because the object or this instrument is behind by 0 0.03 so for you now to use this instrument which has an error to get the correct reading which is 5.00 then you will take the reading of the instrument which is four point 97 then you add the negative error 0 0.03 is going to bring 0, 0, 0.05 so for you to correct a negative error then if you know the error as a negative as 0 0.03 then you just make your measurements using this instrument and then you add the error so for a negative error this is the error if an error is negative for you to correct it you just add the error to the measurement or to the reading of the instrument like in this case so let's do a few questions concerning the positive and the negative zero error the question reads what is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge shown below with an error of positive 0 0.4 millimeter so in this case we write down what we have first we have an error of positive 0 0.4 millimeter so in this case we have to remind ourselves first whenever you have an error then the action that should be taken in this case if you have a positive error then you will subtract that error from the final reading of the instrument and if you have a negative error then you are going to add it the final reading of the instrument in this case we have a positive error so we are going to subtract this error from the final reading of the instrument so for us to read this instrument first we need the sleeve scale reading so we need the sleeve scale reading in this case the sleeve scale reads 3 3.5 4 4.5 5 and this is 5 0.5 so the sleeve scale reads 5.5 millimeter then now can we read the simple scale reading simple scale reading in this case the simple scale reads 20 then we have 21 22 so the line which is in contact with the horizontal line from the sleeve is 22 divisions so we have 22 multiplied by the the accuracy then we are going to get our simple scale reading as 0 0.22 millimeter so now for us to get the total reading total 
reading of this instrument is 5.5 millimeter plus 0.22 millimeter which is going to give us 5.72 millimeter so this is the total reading of this instrument but now this reading has an error this reading has an error and it has a positive error of 0.4 millimeter and we have just said whenever you have a positive error you subtract that error from the final reading so in this case the correct the correct measurement the correct measurement will be 5.72 millimeter you subtract the error which is 0.4 millimeter then in this case we are going to get our answer as 2 minus 0 it's 2 7 minus 3 minus 4 is 3 then 5 minus 0 that is 5 so now the correct answer or the correct dimension of the object which was measured is 5.3 2 millimeter whenever you have a positive error you subtract it from the reading of the instrument so the second question the micrometer screw gauge with an error of 0 0.04 millimeter shows the diameter of a ball bearing find the dimension or find the diameter of the ball bearing so in this case we write down what we have we have an error of 0 0.0 negative 0 0.04 millimeter so in this case on that table that we we know the error and then the action when we have a positive error we subtract when we have a negative error we will add the error to the final reading of the instrument so in this case we have a negative error we are going to add this error to the final reading of the instrument and in this case we are going to read this instrument sleeve scale reading is going to be 0 1 2 3 3 millimeter then we are going to read the the linear the, the temple scale reading which is going to be that 5 that 6 that 7 that 7 divisions times the accurate that is 0 0.01 which is going to give us 0 0.37 millimeter so in this case the total reading the total reading on this instrument is going to be 3 millimeter plus 0 0.37 millimeter which is going to give us 3.37 millimeter but this reading has a negative error this one has a negative error so for us to correct a negative error then now for us to get the correct measurement the correct measurement we are going to add this error to this reading so here it's going to be 3.37 plus the error which is 0.04 then we are going to get our answer as 1 then this is 4 then this is 3 millimeter 3.41 millimeter as our correct reading or correct dimension of the object which was measured so here what's important is that if you know the error which we have then you just read the instrument correctly and then you just if it's negative error you add it to the correct of the reading and if it's a positive error you subtract it from the reading so that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss significant figures, standard forms, and the oil drop experiment.